there's a few more steps to get this ready for sharing with students, so let's go through those now. So you just spent a lot of time building a class right here that is ready to share with students. But you don't want students to edit your original class. You don't want students to go through and start checking things off on your master copy. No, you need this to be a template. So we're going to protect this sheet from students and so that they'll make a copy of it instead of making messing up your original. Come down here to the sheet name and there's a little triangle next to the sheet name. Click on that. And one of our options is to protect this sheet. So we're going to do that now. You want to protect this sheet. That brings up a new dialog that you haven't seen before called Protected Sheets and Ranges. We're going to go into that in a little bit more detail later. The only thing you need to do right now is for this sheet, we need to set the permissions for how Google is going to handle who can edit this sheet. So click on Set Permissions for this sheet. And this is super simple. We only want you to be able to edit this sheet, um, uh, this, this range. But technically, all the cells on this sheet are in the range. So only you can edit this, not students. Just hit Done, and now it is protected and um, saved for you. And it says the sheet called First Name, Last Name, pre S1, or in your class name, is locked. Only you can edit it. And it also shows a lock symbol down here. Later, when you share the whole uh, project manager with students, they are going to duplicate this sheet, and then they're going to have their own copy of the sheet, which they can then edit to their heart's content. Speaking of duplicating sheets, remember that you started with this sheet called first name, last name, class name? That was my template that I originally made to share with you that had my 555 possible units in it. It's time to decide what you want to do with that sheet. Most of you will probably want to keep it. You might want to use this for later as a template that you could use to make additional courses. If you want to save it for later, then again, I would recommend protecting it so uh, your students don't mess it up for later. Okay, but I'm not going to protect that one now. The next thing you might need to do is, what if you teach multiple classes? If, like most teachers, you've got students um, in different times of day and different courses, you might need to want to make additional sheets duplicate the sheet you just spent all that time uh, building up that's for one course, and then do that for the rest of your courses. You might even have multiple courses in the same period at the same time if you're one of those lucky teachers, um, in which case you want students to be able to pick and choose from a menu of different courses that they're in, find the course that they're in, duplicate that course, and uh, fill out their sheet for that course. One project manager can totally be used for multiple classes, multiple periods of the same day, however you want to make it work. I use just one for every semester, and uh, all my students from all my classes are in the same project manager together. Um, so you're almost ready to share this with students. Let me go back to my notes. We're almost ready to share this with students. But if you wanted to make additional classes and you needed to follow the tutorials for that, just come over here to Sheet Management and click on First Sheet Lesson, and that will take you all the way back to the very first sheet when you make a duplicate um, of the, my master copy and what to do with that duplicate. If you don't need to do that, then come back here to this last thing, and you're ready for the progress sheet. The progress sheet is the next sheet. You can click on this button to take you to its, it's going to a separate presentation, or you can click on this. Both those buttons will do the same thing. Go ahead and let's learn how to set up that progress sheet next.